The Columbia River Gorge is a canyon of the Columbia River in the northwest United States. The National Scenic Area, starting only 17 miles from Portland, Oregon, is home to some of the most famous and well-photographed waterfalls in the world. Starting in the westernmost part of the National Scenic Area, and after a very easy hike from the small parking lot, you'll find Littoral Falls. Something really cool about this waterfall is it's one of the few in the area that you can actually walk right up to. Now it kind of goes without saying, but be sure to be very careful when walking on wet rocks. They are way more slippery than they look. It's also worth noting that it gets pretty busy around here and you'll probably have to wait your chance to get your shot. Definitely be sure to have a lens cloth with you here, as these large waterfalls have a lot of spray and your camera will definitely get wet. So this is the best shot I got here, which I have to admit isn't my favorite, but with how many waterfalls were still to come, I wasn't too worried about getting a better shot. Moving right along, I parked at the Joaquina Falls Trail to see some of the smaller waterfalls and hiked to Multnomah Falls. Overall, it's a really nice and short hike to Multnomah Falls through some well-developed trails. Now, something to note about Multnomah Falls is that it's considered the crown jewel of the gorge. It's also very, very busy and sees over 2 million visitors a year. Because of that, the parking situation is tricky. Now, you can see the parking area on the lower left of the screen, and notice that it's actually on I-84 and not the Columbia River Highway. This means you actually have to park on an exit off the interstate and walk under the highway, unless you'd rather hike there like I did. The area is overall very touristy, with a gift shop and restaurant and a really pretty historic building. Just a short walk ahead from there and you'll see the entire 620 foot drop of the waterfall. Now, because of the weather, I didn't get a great shot on this day, but for reference, here's a picture I took a few years ago when I was there with more dramatic weather. The next thing I wanted to do was hike up to the bridge where I took this photo, but I found out pretty quickly that I can't do that anymore. Some of you may remember the Eagle Creek wildfire a few years ago. I remember when it happened because it was big news and it stranded over 150 hikers. Thankfully, everybody survived. But before now, I wasn't aware of all the damage that this fire did. Started by a teenager playing with fireworks, it damaged a lot more than trees. The heat destabilized and cracked a lot of the rock in the area. I moved up the road to see my favorite place in the area, Oneonta Gorge. And when I got there, I found that this canyon was another casualty of the fire. I'll admit, some of the color is seasonal since I was here in September, but seeing how dead and brown the area was, even years after the fire, was honestly surreal. For comparison, here's a picture I took before the fire. A little further up ahead, Horsetail Falls is still accessible and a nice spot to stop off the road. I was hoping that was the end of the damage, but I was very wrong. Every notable trail and waterfall further east on the Oregon side was closed. This is a picture I took of one of my favorite waterfalls in the area, Wachella Falls, which is now inaccessible. Reaching the end of the Oregon side of the gorge, I crossed the Bridge of the Gods, as they call it, into Washington State. There are some waterfalls in the area that I've never seen before, and they sounded really promising. The first one is called Panther Creek Falls. Accessible by two-wheel drive, it is a bit in the middle of nowhere, but it's not too crazy. The path is kind of hard to find. After parking in the dirt parking lot, walk across the street and you'll find this little sign. After a brief hike downhill, you'll find the beautiful and very, very photogenic Panther Creek Falls.
while I was there, I grabbed this shot. After about a 30 minute drive north, you'll find Falls Creek Falls. Definitely a rougher drive, but if you're careful, you can do it with two-wheel drive. At this point, I was a long ways from cell service, and I was curious just how far in the middle of nowhere we were, so I took off the drone from the parking area. And as you can see, this waterfall offers some real seclusion. I couldn't find anything about the length of the hike online, and with the sun setting soon, I hoped it wasn't too long. I decided to measure it myself, and I found out that it was 1.8 miles one way. And this waterfall is definitely worth the hike. There was a brief moment where the sun cut through just right and made a rainbow in the midst of the waterfall. With 90 waterfalls on the Oregon side of the river alone, the Columbia River Gorge has the highest concentration of waterfalls in the United States. Even while we wait for the land to recover and rebuild, the gorge is really a beautiful and unique place. <laughs> 